Now what we're using is Windows 7. I'm not sure if that's going to work. Well, let's give it a shot. Um, from our experience, most things work with uh, XP perfectly, and with a Windows 7 they don't just yet, even though Windows 7 does find quite a bit of the drivers for us. We will see how this works. So we're installing the Parallax USB driver right now with the software they provided. We're just kind of waiting around here, see what happens. While that goes, I'm just going to go ahead and go on to the next step, which is basically connecting the prop scope itself. Just step two. I don't even think you need directions. In fact, they just show you a picture with everything connected with some diagrams on there. Sure enough, they ask us to, con to connect the uh, prop scope DAC card to use the function generator, external trigger, or LSA. We're going to connect it anyways. Now, one thing I'm going to make a note of here is this is an exposed piece of uh, electronics. So what, what I would suggest doing is possibly purchasing a project box like this one. Now this doesn't show the, the, the outer box which goes over this, but this is basically a, your standard $3 project box from Radio Shack. Nice thing about this, you can go ahead and mount just about anything in here. As you can see here we've mounted a Arduino with uh, some standoffs and a sensor over here for temperature. And basically what happens when you're done is that you're left with something like this. Um, now this is a an, uh, an XB module that I've pretty much put into a project box with an antenna which allows me to easily plug it into a USB port. These again were a few bucks at Radio Shack so you can easily purchase it and as you can see this will probably fit into one of these nice small ones right away. And uh, in fact I'm going to go and pick one of these up, I think I have some extra ones here to go ahead and do that for part of this project and kind of you know align it with this here so it'll fit in nicely. Let's see if I can get, <laughs> if I can accomplish that. So basically it says we have to plug this sucker in. I'm going to plug it in here. Now it's not just floating, it actually has this little rubber thing in the bottom so it, it's nice and sits perfectly. The next step is we're just going to go ahead and connect these guys. Now, I'm going to read here, what is this channel 1, channel 2? Does it matter, one's blue, one's green? Um, connect, it doesn't really say much. So I'm assuming that just put the blue and green wherever you want. Um, does it? Okay, so I'm going to connect the red to channel 1 and the blue to channel 2. Wow, that's it. There's our construction. By far one of the simplest things we've done so far, considering we have other videos where we spent hours and hours building kits. Now the next step is basically grab your USB cable, which is this one. We're not going to open this one up because we actually have one connected to our PC. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just kind of connect this. I'm going to shift focus over here for a bit. We're going to move this over here. Sorry about that. And we're just going to plug it in. Sure enough, we've plugged in. Let's see what we have here. So it looks like XP, uh, sorry, Windows 7 detected something. Sure enough, it detected something and uh, detected a prop scope, COM4, and it says it's ready to use. That's excellent news. Uh, I was a little concerned about that, but it is connected and it's ready to go. So let's see what we have here because I'm not quite sure what's going to happen here. Just give me a moment as I Kind of situate myself here. Okay, so we've installed some software. Sure enough, there we have a prop scope software installed on our PC. It says loading device and connecting status. Okay, so it appears to be connecting. So we completed step one and step two, and we're, it looks like we're getting a reading on our screen right now. Um, I'll provide screenshots of what this looks like in a minute. Um, look to the actual uh, review and you'll be able to see it. Now it says for step three, start the prop scope software by clicking the prop scope uh, shortcut OK. We'll start the oscilloscope view and show measurements taken as a two of these blah blah blah. Tips, okay. So we can adjust the horizontal trigger slider to see the signal before the before and after. 
Click OK. So it tells us a bunch of things that we can and can't do. Stopping measurements, starting measurements, etc., etc. Alignments, things like that. Log analyzer. Use a log analyzer with the IO expander. OK. 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 Hmm. So in our next uh, video, we're going to go ahead and show you us actually using the unit and what it can and can't do for us. That's it.